Yes, sir. As of today, you have 10,068 points, and that will provide you a $100 reward check. Certainly. Could you please verify your mailing address? Don't be a jerk. I will return it right after I finish. Jeez. Yeah, return my previous one first. Dude, let go. Unless you want me to tell Mr. Williams what happened yesterday. Thank you for calling Motion Credit. This is Jim speaking. How can I help you? Jim, could you come into my office? Yes, sir. I did offer the check to the customer because he had enough points to earn that reward check. Jim, I am here to do business, not to give away money. But, sir, that is part of the contract, that the customer will earn certain rewards when they each... Listen, Jim. We do not offer that reward. We only provide it if the customer asks for it. And we will try to push it as far as possible. You work for my company, not for the customer's. Is that clear, son? Yes, sir. I understand. The credit will show up on your next bill, madam. Jim, you're holding me up. You've not submitted last week's timesheet. Sorry, but you could have reminded me. My job is to fax your timesheet to HR, and your job is to submit it on time. Just bring it up to me ASAP. Okay. Welcome to Motion Credit. How can I help you? Is it Jim Fredrick? Yes, it is. Hey, listen, man. I've got a package for you. Come down and pick it up. Do you think you could deliver it to me? I'm on the third floor. No, man. We're busy here. Just come and pick it up. Okay. Everyone is a fucking bitch around here. There's no sender's address on this package? An iPhone? Who would send me an iPhone? It says dial, star, 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 then press send. Hello, Jim. Who is this? Does it really matter? How can I help you? Help me? <laughs> no, no. I'm going to help you. Is this a joke? Not at all. I am here to fulfill your three wishes. But it comes with a condition. What condition? Anything you ask for, your colleague Chris gets the same thing, but in double. Okay, I got it. Who is it? Is it a prank? You will find out soon, Jim. So, are you ready to tell me your first wish? Listen, mister, I don't know who you are. I had a very rough day and I'm tired. I'm gonna hang up now. You have to lose. Just tell me your first wish and then you are free to go. I need a raise and a personal office. How about that? We'll be done. Can I go now? Indeed. But call me at this number tomorrow and let me know your second wish. Goodbye. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Congratulations. From now on, you are the floor supervisor. What? Yes. Miss Fox forwarded this letter from HR just a few minutes ago. Here's your coffee. Hmm. Is it a joke, too? Hey Jim, I guess I don't have to borrow your shitty staplers anymore. I'll be making more money than you will. Go away, Chris. I'll be on the monitoring department. And that means, my friend, you have to watch your tone.
Hello, Jim. How are you? Is it really happening? Do you need more evidence? I suppose I do not. So, are you ready for your second wish? I... I want to hold Emma's hand. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes, but do you think it, it could happen out of everyone's sight? Yes, it will be that way. How you doing, Jim? I'm fine. Here we go. I've noticed you're always nervous. Is it because of me? Nervous? Uh, no, no. Here. Let me make you comfortable. Guys, may I have your attention, please? As you all know, Emma and I are friends for a while. Today, I want to reveal our secret to you all. We are going to be engaged. Motion credit, how can I help you? Hey, Carrie, this is Jim. Hi, how are you? Not very well. I'm calling from the hospital. I woke up this morning and I realized that I was having a problem with seeing things. So, so I came to hospital and the doctor said I have completely lost my left eye's vision. Oh my God. What's going on? Chris called out today too. He said he can't see at all.
trying, they're, they're still trying to find out the reason. But I, I'm just calling to inform that I, I won't be in today, perhaps not tomorrow either.